Hello everyone, welcome to Little Things. Today we're going to be making this really cute kiss in Wales. This is such a perfect gift for your partner or your best friend. And the fact that it's handmade and it's personalized makes it 10 times better. And plus this project is completely beginner friendly and if you've never crocheted or have zero experience in crocheting, don't worry, I got your back. It'll be really easy for you if you follow my tutorial. When I have my crochet small business, this was my first product and it was the best seller too. So yeah, you guys just have to make this and also remember to save this video for the upcoming Valentine's Day or for their birthday. Also, I know that 75% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. If you want more easy tutorial like these, remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And it's completely free and it would really keep this channel growing. And yeah, if you did that, it would really make my day. Also, I do crochet live stream on YouTube every Saturday at around 9 to 11 p.m. Sydney time. So yeah, I'm super excited to see you guys there. Anyways, back to the tutorial, let's go over the materials. First, I'll be using 5-ply milk color yarn with a color white pink and blue, 3mm hook, a darning needle, stitch marker, scissors, 6mm safety eyes, stuffing, magnet, and I'm using the 10mm wide and 5mm thick, keychain, metal letters, and pliers. So first we're going to start with the base of the whale body and we'll be using a wet color yarn. But I want to demonstrate it more clearly so I'll be using a pink color yarn but be sure if you're crocheting, you should be using a white color yarn instead. So to start, we're going to be making a magic ring first. So for my left hand, I'm pointing up two fingers, middle finger and index finger and I'm holding the yarn with my right hand. First, we're going to wrap our yarn around the two fingers twice, so once and then go under and over again and this our second time and then as you can see there's a parallel line on the top of our two fingers and for the bottom we're going to bring the yarn to the palm of our hand and then hold it with our thumb so as you can see there's a cross here and the parallel line on the top then we're going to grab our hook and place our hook under the first loop and then grab the second loop that's closest to our hand and then pull it through the first loop like this and then twist it clockwise and then for our working yarn here we're going to use our hook and then grab it like this and then pull it through the loop on our hook and then pull it really tight to secure the knot so this is our magic ring to adjust the loop on our hook, we're going to grab the knot and then we're going to pull the working yarn. And we don't want it to be too loose or too tight, just so your hook can move freely like this. To adjust the size of the magic ring, we're going to pull the tail. And the size of the magic ring should be fine. So the way I'm holding my yarn, I'm wrapping the working yarn around my three fingers. And then I'm bringing my working yarn behind my index finger, like this. And then for my ring finger and pinky, I'm just going to hold it, so kind of like pointing a gun. And for my middle finger and thumb, I'm going to hold my piece. And for my index finger, it's always pointed up so the working yarn could slide smoothly. And the way I'm holding the hook, I'm just holding my hook as if I'm writing like this. And then you could also hold it like you're holding a knife, which is like this, and then crochet it like this. But personally, I prefer the pencil gripping method. So again, I'm going to hold my piece using my middle finger and thumb. I'm just going to hold this circle right here. And let's start round one. And for round one, we're making six single crochet into this magic ring. And let's do our first single crochet. First, we're going to insert a hook into the magic ring. And for the tail, pretend it's attached to the magic ring, so we're going under the tail as well. And this is our working yarn, and we're going to yarn over and then grab the working yarn. So to yarn over, you bring a hook on top of the working yarn and grab it like this. And then we're going to pull it through the magic ring and then pull up a loop. 
And then now we have two loops on our hook and then we're going to yarn over again. So to yarn over, bring our hook on top of the working yarn and then pull it through the two loops on our hook and this the first loop and then the second loop. And this is our first single crochet. For the first single crochet, I'm going to use a stitch marker to mark it so we remember which one is the first stitch. If you look at it from the top, you'll see a V here and then I'm just going to place my stitch marker through the V on the top of the first stitch. And as you can see, this is going through a V and then it is also right on top of our first stitch. And I'm just gonna lock it. And then we're gonna continue with our other five single crochet. So again, to do a single crochet, we insert our hook into the magic ring. And then we're gonna yarn over. So grab the working yarn like this. And then we're gonna pull it through the magic ring. And then now we'll have two loops on our hook. I'm just going to yarn over and then pull it through two loops on our hook. This is the first one and the second one. And this is our second single crochet. Then again, insert our hook into the magic ring and then we're going to yarn over. So grab the working yarn with our hook and then pull it through the magic ring and then bring up a loop. And then we'll have two loops on our hook and then we yarn over and then pull it through the two loops on our hook. The first one and the second one. So to do the fourth single crochet, it's the same thing. We're going to insert our hook into the magic ring and then yarn over and then pull it through the magic ring and then bring up a loop. And then we'll have two loops on our hook and then we're just going to yarn over again and then pull it through the two loops on our hook. So like this. And now we'll have four single crochet as well as four Vs. One, two, three, four. And each V represents a stitch. And then we're just gonna repeat this two more times. So insert our hook into the magic ring, and yarn over, and then bring up a loop like this, and then yarn over again, and then pull it through the two loops on our hook. For the last one, we do the same thing, insert our hook into the magic ring and then yarn over and then pull up a loop and then yarn over again and then pull it through the two loops on our hook. As you can see, we've finished six single crochet in this magic ring and then I'm just gonna close up the gap in the magic ring. So I'm gonna pull this tail and then you want to make sure that it's really pulled very tight so that the magic ring is completely closed. You see the stitch marker right here, and this is our first stitch, if you remember. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to join with this first stitch, so it creates a round. Also, by the way, this piece is working in spiral, so we don't have to do slip stitch and then chain one to start a round. And I'm just gonna remove this stitch marker. And then see this little hole right here, which is our first stitch. We're gonna insert our hook into that stitch. So as you can see, we're going through a V if you look at it from the top. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna place a single crochet into the stitch. So we've already inserted our hook into the stitch. So we're gonna yarn over. And then we're gonna pull it through the stitch and then bring up a loop. Now we have two loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and then pull it through two loops on our hook. Like this. And then again, this is the start of our round two. So we're going to place a stitch marker into this stitch. So for round two, there are six increases, which means we're gonna place two single crochet in each stitch in round one. So the reason why we're doing increases is that instead of our piece going like this, it's going like outwards and like expanding it. And then we're just gonna insert our hook right into where we inserted our hook into to place the first stitch. 
So we placed our first stitch right here. So we're just going to the exact same stitch. So insert our hook into that stitch. And then we're going to yarn over. Grab the yarn and then pull up a loop. And now we have two loops on our hook. And now we're going to yarn over and then pull it through the first two loops. And that's our increase. And this is our first increase. So to do the second one, we do the same thing. And then we're going to yarn over and then place a single crochet. Pull up the loop and then yarn over and then pull through the two loops on our hook. And then to do a increase, we're placing, we're inserting our hook into the exact same stitch and place another single crochet. And then yarn over and then pull it up and then yarn over again and then pull through the rest of the two. And then for the third one, we insert our hook into the next following stitch and then place a single crochet and this is our first single crochet so we're inserting our hook into the exact same stitch and yarn over and pull up the loop and then yarn over again and then pull it through the two loops So we're just going to repeat this. We have three stitches left, which means we'll have three increases left. And then we're going to be reaching our stitch marker and then we're going to start round three. So I have reached my stitch marker and then I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and start round three. So for round three, we're doing single crochet increase followed by a single crochet and single crochet increase followed by a single crochet and then we're going to repeat this for six times so first we're going to be doing an increase for round three insert our hook into the stitch and then yarn over and then place a single crochet and to mark this is the first stitch we're going to place a stitch marker into the first stitch here and then after an increase, it's followed by a single crochet. So for the next stitch, I'm just doing one single crochet. And then for our third stitch, it's a single crochet increase. So we're going to place two single crochet into the same stitch. So this is my first single crochet. I'm going into the stitch again and then place another single crochet it's followed by a single crochet so i'm just doing a single crochet into the next stitch so basically it's increase followed by a single crochet and an increase and then a single crochet and then we're just going to repeat this pattern until we reach this stitch marker so this is my third increase and then a single crochet and the next one I'm just gonna repeat increase single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet until I finish the round so I have finished my round three and then you should have something that looks like this it's basically a circle right here and yours should be white so I've switched back to white color yarns and then I'm on my last stitch. And for the last stitch, it's a little bit special. So we do the normal insert a hook and yarn over and then pull up a loop. And normally we're going to yarn over and then pull through all two loops on our hook, right? But this time, since we're going to do a color change, we're going to pull through with the color of the well. So basically, I'm just going to pull through with the pink yarn to finish off my last single crochet. So I'm just going to place the pink yarn on my hook like this and then kind of like pinch it. Then we're going to pull it through. And 
that's our color change and then we're gonna pull the white yarn here and then cut the white yarn so from now on we're gonna be working with pink yarn so now we're going to start round four and for round four to round nine we're going to be just putting one single crochet into each stitch so remember how we did increases which is putting two single crochet into one stitch we're not going to do that in round four to round nine so it'll create depth for this circle so it's going like this and that's gonna be the body of the whale so let's start so i'm gonna remove my stitch marker and then i'm gonna insert it and place a normal single crochet like this then place my stitch marker to mark the round so i'm gonna insert my hook into the next stitch and then yarn over pull up a loop yarn over again pull through all two loops on our hook and that's our second one then we're gonna repeat the same thing basically placing one single crochet in each stitch until we reach the end of the round which is the stitch marker And then now I've reached the end of my round, which is my round four. As you can see, I'm just putting one single crochet in each stitch. And then now I'm gonna do my round five. So I just remove my stitch marker and then place my first stitch for my round five. And then after placing the first stitch, I'm gonna insert my stitch marker. So as you can see, it's all one single crochet in each stitch. So now I have reached my stitch marker and that means I've completed round 5. So basically we're gonna do the exact same thing until we reach round 9. Sorry, it's actually round 8. So we've done round 4, round 5, and then we're gonna do round 6, round 7, and round 8 the same. And I'll meet you guys when I'm in round 8. So now I have finished my round 8. So now we're going to insert our eyes and magnet. So here are my two eyes. So first we're going to find where to insert our eyes into. We're going to place this whale upside down so the opening is facing the table. So as you can see here, this part is where the color changed and this is the mid part. Then we're going to draw an imaginary line to the front of the whale here. So this stitch right here is the midpoint of the whale and then our eyes are five stitches apart. So this is the midpoint, right? And then we're gonna go one stitches apart and then two stitches apart and now it's five stitches apart. And this is exactly where we're gonna be inserting our eyes into. And it's, basic, and it's basically two rounds higher than the white round. And I'm just gonna stick my hook into that to just mark it. And I'm just gonna count it again two four five and this is where i'm gonna put my eyes into also i'm just gonna make sure that it is the midpoint so here color change is the midpoint and it's pointed up and then it looks pretty good to me so i'm just gonna insert it here it might be a little hard to insert the eyes if you did your stitches a bit too tight so one two three four five stitches apart and i'm gonna insert the other eyes so here i'm gonna stick it into the stitch and now you have something that looks like this you can kind of see it coming all together right and then now let's add our magnet so i grabbed two magnets and i'm just gonna be sticking one inside a whale so choose whichever side you want doesn't really matter and then we're gonna grab our glue as well we're gonna add glue on one side of the magnet and then we're going to stick it right here right in between our eyes and then it's gonna be right here onto one side and then put it on our kind of like our index finger and thumb and then place and then we're gonna stick it in between our eyes 
So just carefully placing our whale in. And then what I like to do is I like to use the other magnet to help with the placement of the magnet inside. So I'm just gonna stick it here to make sure that it's in place and you can kind of move this magnet around. I'm just gonna leave it for like, I don't know, like a minute for the glue to dry. At the meantime, I'm gonna prepare my stuffing. I'm just gonna stuff it little by little and be sure to kind of go under the safety pin eyes as well. A little bit more so I think this is a bit too much because we can always stuff it again later because it's easier for us to crochet if it's not too stuffed so right now we're gonna grab our hook and then we're gonna continue with the whale and then we're gonna close up the top of our whale and then we're gonna do decreases so you know how in the beginning we did increases which is placing two single crochet into one stitch we're going to do decreases, which means we're going to take two stitches from the previous round, make it into one stitch. Basically reverse of the increase. Place our hook into the loop and then continue crocheting. The sequence is one single crochet followed by a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease until the end of the round. So let's do a single crochet first. So basically just place a single crochet and then again add the stitch marker to mark the round and then now we're going to do our decrease so to do our decrease as you can see here for each stitch it has a V right the V consists of the back loop and the front loop the loop that's closer to us is the front loop which is like half of the V and then the other half of the V which is closer to the inside of our piece is the back loop. The front loop plus the back loop equals a V which is a stitch. So to do a decrease we're basically going to go through the front loops of the two stitches. I know it sounds a little bit confusing but trust me I'm sure you'll be able to do it. So the next stitch is this V and then this V, right? We're gonna be doing decrease. So these two are the following stitches that we're going to do a decrease on. So first we're gonna insert our hook into the front loop. So basically the V that's closest to us, the loop. So this is the front loop. I'm inserting my hook into the next stitch front loop as well. I know it's a little bit hard. It, it might be a little bit tight, just try your best to just grab the front loop as you can see I've grabbed two front loops these are the two front loops of the following two stitches and then we're just going to do a normal single crochet which is yarn over and then pulling through the first two loops and then we're left with two loops on our hook just finish it off like a normal single crochet yarn over pull it through two loops and there we go, we have made our first decrease, congrats! And then we're gonna do single crochet and then increase. For our next stitch right here, we're gonna just insert it, yarn over, place a single crochet here. And then decrease again. So for decrease right here, as you can see, there's two Vs. These two loops are the loops that we want to stick our hook into, the front loop of the following stitches and then the second loop as well ah, yeah. like this yarn over and then pull through just the first two loops which is the two front loops like this now we're left with two loops then we're gonna yarn over and then pull it through all two loops and ta-da here's our second decrease then again we're gonna do another single crochet followed by a decrease. So just a normal single crochet. We're gonna do these two following stitches decrease. So insert a hook into the front loop and the other front loop as well. Like this. And then yarn over and then pull it through the first two loops which is the two front loops and then yarn over and then pull through the rest of the two 
and then we're gonna basically repeat this three more times until we reach the stitch marker but before that i just want to stuff my whale a little bit because the hole up here is gonna be smaller and smaller and it's gonna be harder for us to stuff going to repeat this basically a single crochet yeah single crochet and then a decrease so two front loops of the following two stitches and then yarn over pull through the first two loops on our hook then again yarn over pull through the last two loops and then single crochet again and then decrease this is my last one single crochet and my last decrease Now I've reached the end of my round and you should have something that looks like this and it is like closing up as you can see it's getting narrower and then now we're gonna close up the circle on the top and you see this loop right here we're going to pull it a very very big loop because we're gonna sew this part together so around this length fold the loop together it's kind of like one and a half of my hand and then I'm going to cut the yarn and pull the working yarn out and then you'll have this very long tail then we're going to remove our stitch marker we're going to grab our darning needle and then thread this yarn tail into the darning needle and now we're going to close up this top part right here and then remember how I told you guys this loop is the front loop and this loop is the back loop so basically this creates a v right so for this whole round we're gonna stick our darning needle into all the front loops of the stitches what we're gonna do we're gonna stick it through the front loop like this and then pull our tail through like so and then for the second stitch, it's the same thing. This is the front loop, the loop that's closer to us. And then just stick it through and then pull it. And then again, going to stick it into the front loop, basically the half of the V. Repeat this until we reach the end of the round. And there's actually a faster way of doing that is to just go through multiple front loops at once, basically. So for this stitch, going through the first front loop and then at the same time, go through another front loop. So it's like a more efficient way like this. And now I have two front loops together and then I can try and stick one more front loop in like this and I just pull it through all at once so it's like more time efficient but obviously you can do it like one by one it's completely up to you I just find it more you know effective and then I believe this is my last stitch and then once we pull this tail this circle right here is going to close up so I'm just gonna pull it And then after that, I'm sticking my needle into the middle part, which is like the tiny gap of the circle. And I'm gonna stick my needle up into here. Basically, I just want to tie a knot. So I'm just gonna hold the tail with my left hand. And then we're gonna pull it through, but not completely through. So my left hand is holding the tail. So we're just going to grab the needle stick our needle into the loop on our left hand and then we just pull it and then that would create a knot to secure this part 
And then we're going to stick our needle into the hole. You can stick it through wherever you want because we're going to cut the yarn and just pull it through. And then we're gonna cut, cut my yarn here. When you cut it, remember to pull this out a little bit when you cut it because after that, it will like automatically go back inside to the piece. So for the top part, I just kind of adjust it a little bit. You can kind of see the knot. But to be honest, I don't really care about like the top part even though it has a gap. Because when later when I add the keychain, this part is going to like close up, if that makes sense, like this. So you won't really see the gaps. So yeah, this is what you should have right now. And now we're going to make the whale fins and tail. So for the side fins, we're going to chain two and then do a single crochet. So to chain, we're going to make a slip knot first. First, I'm going to grab my yarn using my right hand. And then for my left hand, again, I'm using two fingers. And this side is the inside of the finger. And we'll use the inside of our finger and then grab the working yarn. And then we're going to twist it. Twist it clockwise. And then you'll have a loop on your left and then a tail on your right. And then we're going to pull this tail through this loop on our left hand. And so I'm going to use my left thumb to kind of like grab the tail from the right hand side. And then just grab it and then pull it through like this. And then here's our slip knot. So we'll have a loop on the top and then a knot in the middle and a tail at the bottom. So to adjust the size of the slip knot, we're going to pull the tail to make it a little bit smaller and then we're going to grab our hook and then we're going to insert it into the loop and then for the tail we want to kind of pull it until the loop is a little bit smaller and fits on our hook perfectly like this so again the way i'm holding the yarn i'm just going to wrap the working yarn around my three fingers and then come up again and then I'm going to go behind my index finger and then for my ring finger and pinky I'm going to hold it in for my middle finger and thumb I'm going to hold my piece and then my index finger is always pointed up so that's how I hold my yarn again so first we're going to chain two so to chain we're going to yarn over it and pull through it's very easy so yarn over and then we just pull it through this loop on our hook. Just pull it through like this. And then this would create a V right here. And that is our first chain. And then we're going to chain two. So we're going to chain again, yarn over. And then pull it through the loop on our hook. Like this. And as you can see, you will see two Vs here and that's our chain two. And then we're going to do a single crochet and then fasten off. So first we're going to insert our hook into the second chain from hook, which is the chain that's furthest from the hook, which is here, this one. Insert it into the V, like this. And then we're gonna place a single crochet. So yarn over and then pull it through the chain and that would bring up a loop and then you'll have two loops on your hook and then we're going to yarn over again and then pull it through two loops on our hook and then just pull it through two loops and then after that we're going to fasten off and to fasten off it's just one chain just chain one so yarn over and then pull it through the loop on our hook and then after that, we're going to pull a really big loop this long and then I'm going to cut the yarn here. And for the fins here, we can just pull it and then pull this side as well. And then this is our side fin. And for the fins, we're going to make two fins in total. So for the two tails on the left and right, we're going to use it to sew it onto the whale. So for the tail, we're going to start with a magic ring. To start the magic ring, we're going to hold the tail on our right hand. And on my left hand, I'm using two fingers and it's pointed up. 
I'm gonna grab the tail here. I'm gonna wrap it around my two fingers twice. So one time and then the second time like this. And then you'll have a parallel line on the top. And for the bottom, we're going to place the yarn here to the palm of our hand and then hold it with our thumb like this. And then we'll have a cross at the bottom and then a parallel line on the top. Well, not quite a parallel line, but like two lines on the top. And then we're gonna grab our hook and then we're gonna insert it under the first loop. And then we're gonna grab the second loop and then we're gonna pull it through the first loop like this. And then we're gonna twist it 180 degrees like this. Grab the working yarn so here's the working yarn and I'm just gonna yarn over on the working yarn and then we're gonna pull it through the loop on our hook which is this loop right here so we're just gonna pull it through the loop on our hook like this and as you can see this is very loose so I'm just going to pull it on both sides to make it like a secure knot here and then to adjust the loop on our hook which is this loop we're going to pull the working yarn and you want it to fit perfectly on your hook and then to adjust the size of the magic ring we're going to pull this tail right here we're going to pull it a little bit smaller first we're going to insert a hook into the magic ring and be sure that your tail is on your left and then when you go through the magic ring you're also going through the tail as well so the tail is on your hook as well and then we're going to place two single crochet into the magic ring. So if you remember how to do single crochet, we're just going to yarn over and then pull up a loop and then we'll have two loops on our hook like this and then we're going to yarn over again and then pull it through the first two loops on our hook and then that's our first single crochet. And then we're gonna do a second one. So insert a hook into the magic ring, yarn over and then pull up a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook and then yarn over again and then pull it through two loops on our hook. And that's our second stitch. And for the third stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet. So this is a new stitch. So a double crochet is double the height of a single crochet. So to do that, we're going to yarn over first before inserting our hook. So yarn over. And then we're going to insert our hook into the magic ring. So like this. And then we're going to yarn over just like single crochet. And then pull it through the magic ring and then pull up a loop. And now we'll have three loops on our hook. Yarn over. And then pull it through the first two loops. So this is the first loop. And then the second loop. And now we're left with two loops on our hook and then we're gonna yarn over and then pull it through the rest of the two loops on our hook. And ta-da, here's our double crochet. And after that, we're going to close up our magic ring. So I'm just going to pull this tail right here. I'm just gonna close it like this and then pull it really tight until it's really, really closed up. And then I'm going to fasten off and to fasten off, we're going to chain one. So to chain, we yarn over and then we pull it through the loop on our hook like this. And then we're going to pull a big loop like this, like kind of like, um, like my hand, I guess, because we're going to use this tail to sew on to the whale. So we want it to be a little bit longer and then we're going to cut yarn and then the same thing for the tail we're going to make two of them so in total we'll have two tails and then two side fins so we're gonna start by sewing the tail first and we're just gonna take one tail as you can see on each tail there are two ends and we're just going to use this end which is attached to the pointier side of the tail and the tail that's sticking out from like the middle here 
is not the tail that we're going to be using we're going to cut this later so we're going to use this end and thread it through the darning needle so now we're going to be looking at the back of the whale and as you can see this row has the color change pink and white here and right on the color change here the stitch is where we're going to insert our needle into and we just insert it right here and as you can see it is right in between the two eyes right here it's like the midpoint i'm just going to stick my needle through like the side of the whale it doesn't really matter where you stick your needle out into um i just chose like a random point here and then we just pull it through So now we're sticking our needle into either one row lower or one row higher. And as you can see, if you pull the yarn down like this, it will kind of blend into the stitch. Or if you pull the yarn up like this, it will also perfectly blend into the stitch. So see this yarn is sticking out from here. I'm just going to choose one stitch higher than where the yarn is sticking out from. So here, and we just stick it into that and then just go across your piece and as you can see you can't really tell it's kind of invisible now and then we're gonna go ahead and cut the end here so when i cut it i like to pull it a little bit and then cut it and then kind of like i don't squish it a little bit so like the end will like go back into our piece and then now we're gonna do the same thing and stick our needle into the same stitch. So again, we're gonna be using this end right here from the pointier side, thread our end into the darning needle, and then we're going to insert our hook, sorry, insert our needle into the exact same stitch. We can kind of like fold it like this and then to see where exactly the stitch is and just go into the exact same stitch and then go across it. It doesn't matter where your like needle is, um, sticking out um you just pull it just pull it through like this and then now we're going to choose if we want to do like um, lower or like higher so i'm going to go one row lower like the stitch right below from where the yarn is sticking out from so like this one i'm just gonna stick my hook into that and then go across my piece and then again just cut the end and pull the end a little bit and then cut it and then kind of like squish it a little bit so for these two tails here it's actually the magic ring and to secure it i just like to pull the tail a little bit to just like you know like secure it a little bit before i cut it so it doesn't come off but it's okay um, after we cut it, I'm going to apply glue anyways, so it's going to be secure. This tail right here, and then I'm just going to cut it. Remember to leave like just a tiny bit is fine. Here as well. Look at this. Um, okay, so my glue is not really cooperating. I apply it right on top of where I cut my yarn. I kind of do like on the side as well. So like these two tail would stick together at the bottom here i like to add some glue as well kind of fold the tail like this at the base here i just add some glue to secure the tail so you have something that looks like this right now so these two tails right here we're going to use that to sew the side fins on and then we're just going to place our fins right in between our eyes and the tails around like here is i guess like the midpoint so I think here is my midpoint and then I would just kind of like hold it with my hand Thread one end of your side fin into the darning needle Stick my needle into this corresponding stitch And then I'm just gonna do the same thing as I did with the side fin I'm just going to stick my needle out from like a random stitch Just like that and then just pull it through I'm just going into one stitch below and then stick it across the piece. And then I'll just cut it. 
and basically repeat that for, for the other side as well. I just want to make sure where my needle is supposed to be inserted in. So maybe like this stitch right here. So I'll insert my needle into the stitch and then stick my needle out in a random stitch. And I'm going a stitch lower and then going back again and pull it, then cut the yarn. Then I'm just going to glue this part. Also, by the way, I like my tail to be like curved up a little bit. That's cuter that way, in my opinion. And then now we're going to be doing another fin. And then again, we're going to be inserting our darning needle into one of the end. And then we're going to measure the midpoint of the tail and the eyes. So I think this right here is a good spot. It looks pretty symmetrical, just like the other side. So I'm just going to insert a hook into that stitch. Now I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I did as my other fin. And then now one fin to go. And then last but not least, we're going to add glue to secure it again. And ta-da! Here is our little whale. It's super adorable. And then I'm just going to go and make the other one. So right now I'm doing my second whale and I'll be using this blue to make the whale body. So now I'm going to add my magnet to the whale. And it's really important to make sure that the side of the magnet that's sticking to your other well, it's the side that you're gonna put glue onto. So this side is the side that I'm gonna put glue onto. And then make sure they actually stick. And then I'm just gonna continue with my project. So I've already finished my blue whale and I'm gonna add blush onto it. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grab like this much of the pink yarn and then cut it thread it through the darning needle and then i'm just going to add blush onto here and here which is right underneath the two eyes so as you can see here right underneath two eyes there's these two holes right here it's like a stitch so I'm just going to stick my needle into the stitch and then come up into the next stitch and then I'm going to pull the pink yarn through like this I'm going to pull it through and then leave like a little bit here and then I'm just going back into this stitch right here where I first inserted my needle into I'm just going to go through it here my needle is going to come up from this stitch right here because this stitch is underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to stick my needle out from this stitch and then pull it gently. Gently and then as you can see it here forms a blush. And then I'm going to stick my needle into the next stitch right here which is this one. And then I'm just going to stick it. And then this time, since we're going to cut the yarn, we just have to stick it out from like any stitch. Just a random stitch would be fine. You just stick it out like this. Remember not to pull your yarn too tight or else the blush would look a little bit weird. And then now I'm just going to cut the yarn here. And then use my darning needle to kind of poke it back in. For this tail right here, I'm just gonna cut it a little bit shorter. And then there's still a little bit sticking out, so I'm just going to um, poke it back in again. And here is our whale with the blush. Yay! And it's super adorable, it looks so shy. And I'm not gonna add blush to the pink one because it doesn't look really good if it's pink on pink unless you have like darker pink. So yeah, you can just end it here, but I would like to add the keychain and the customization, which is the letters. So right now we have two keychains prepared. First, I'm going to grab one letter. I would like to add my letter onto the top chain here, so the letter will look like this. So I'm going to open the top ring, which is this one, and then just put this in and then close that. I'm just gonna hold one 
side of the ring and then the other with my other part. As you can see the opening is as you can see the opening is in the middle of my two pliers. So I'm just gonna open it here and I'm just gonna put it inside. Then I'm gonna close it. So there we go, here is our letter and I'm just gonna do my second one. So ta-da, we've finished our keychains and then I'm just gonna attach it onto the whales here. So now we're gonna open the bottom chain, which is this one, and then we're gonna attach it onto the whales. So I've opened it and then the chain is gonna go through from here to here. So these two points, it would close up and so this gap would also close up as well. That's why I told you guys not to worry in the beginning. So I'm just gonna hold my last chain with my plier like this. And then I'm gonna go through from this point to this point, which is right in the middle of the whale. Like this. So I've inserted half of my chain and I just need to come up on this point right here, so like this. And then now I just need to close this last chain up. And then adjust it a little bit. I just like the opening part to be facing the inside of the whale, so it's not visible from the outside. So here is what it looks like after it's done. And I'm just gonna do my second one. Ta-da, here is our little kissing whales and it's super cute. I just love the customization on the keychain and makes it so special to the person you're giving this to. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let me know what you want next or any crochet tutorial suggestion. I would love to hear them. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and like this video. It would really help me out. See you guys next one. Bye!